Hello, I'm Sue Brinkman, Director of New Age Research at WomenOfGrace.com. We recently received an email from someone who said, I don't understand why it's so dangerous to read a horoscope or get a tar tarot reading just for fun. If I don't have any intention of being in contact with demons, what's the harm? Well, for starters, I think a good question to ask yourself is, why do you consider fooling around with preternatural powers to be fun? On a natural level, that's the equivalent of saying, I hear playing in traffic can be dangerous, but I'm just doing it for fun, so how deadly can that be? Regardless of why you're playing in traffic, you can still get hurt. The same rules apply in the demonic realm. In his book, Liber Christo, Dr. Dan Schneider explains that the devil always works in the objective, meaning what is, and not the subjective, which is our intentions or our feelings. In other words, demons couldn't care less about why you're dabbling in divination or psychics or yoga. All that matters to them is that you are. And once you make that turn toward them with your own free will, whether it's for fun or for real, they now have your permission to be there. You've given them that authority just by virtue of opening the door to them. Nor does it matter that you opened the door simply because you didn't know that anything bad could happen. Ignorance is not an excuse with the devil. Regardless of what you know or don't know, you can still get hurt. Let's say that someone spiked your water bottle with strychnine, and you didn't know it and drank it. Does that mean you're not going to get hurt? Of course not. Regardless of whether you knew it or not, you're going to die. As Dr. Schneider reminds, he says, Nowhere in the natural realm does our ignorance of a rule of law mean we are not subject to the penalty of its violation. In other words, objective truth, which means something that's substantiated by reality, such as strychnine kills, is what determines if you get hurt, not how you feel about it. So as a Christian, you should know that both the Bible and the Catechism consider occult-related practices to be dangerous and are therefore forbidden. Now, if you didn't know this simply because you didn't make a reasonable effort to learn about these prohibitions, then you're guilty of invincible ignorance meaning an, an ignorance that you could have corrected if you made an effort to do so. And again, being vincibly ignorant of these objective truths is not going to protect you from the ramifications of dabbling in these practices. So to put it in simpler terms, not resorting to the Bible and the Catechism to learn about the dangers of the supernatural realm before dabbling in the occult is the equivalent of opening your front door to whoever is standing on your porch without bothering to use the peephole to see who's there. Why would you do that? I certainly wouldn't. The fact that you're even listening to this podcast indicates that you have at least some knowledge about the possible dangers of these activities. So why take the chance? There are plenty of other fun things to do that don't come with such potentially disastrous risks. For more information on this and many other subjects, visit womenofgrace.com.